Hey, what's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. So let's do the price action on this thing. We have the week on Tesla closed and we didn't close bad. I do see weakness come in today as well as for one of the areas that I'll show you on the hourly interval in just a second. Once we lost that, this was the blue box that I was talking about. We'll dip down into it. So we got that move. Now, what do we make out of here on Tesla stock? So let's discuss all of that in this video. But before that, I also want to let you know, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. And also we have Tesla's earnings coming on Tuesday. So definitely guys, earnings will change the chart for sure. Either we'll have a, again, no one knows what's gonna happen through the earnings. Either we are gonna have a gap down or a gap up. Structure would change for sure, all right? Now, we have what in the price action right now. So technically, this area, guys, all right, up here, we are technically still in the bullish structure, overall bullish structure. But yes, this intraday weakness is coming in. And the if this has to become a fully distribution phase, we have to lose the 20 days moving average, like confirmed distribution phase. Right now, it's a running distribution phase. But if this has to mark its completion, we have to lose the bottom of the blue box that is 233 and 36 cents together with 20 days moving average. Once we start to lose this, that marks the distribution phase, thus turning the structure to the downtrend again, all right? If we stay above that, technically overall structure will still remain bullish, but intraday that weakness has been coming. Let's take a look at that. So I provided you these trend lines right and also most importantly yesterday i talked about guys if we lose 200 hours moving average today and we also lose this significant level like 245 and 82 cents area we will come lower down into this blue box so that was the play today we got that play downside play on tesla all right at this point intraday though guys tesla is still in the downtrend there's a difference between overall structure overall structure which more relates to the direction that stock is in in a bigger trend which is still in the upside that hasn't confirmed that closeness of the distribution phase that will be below this level of 233 and 40 cents right but intraday cool offs weakness are coming right that's why we have this trend line over here now Test. This is the last line of defense for the bulls definitely, but Mondays will be only the day and then Tuesday, Tuesday, I expect Tesla to stay choppy because earnings will give it the move, the next move that would be. There is no, no one knows what's going to happen through the earnings. Earnings can be great, Tesla may fall. Earnings can be bad, Tesla may just go up. You just never know, all right? That's why I don't like to trade through the earnings. I'd want to trade before earnings and after earnings, not when the earnings are happening, right? So let me extend this trend line a little bit down. So at this point, technically it's in the downtrend structure, guys. If you are looking to trade the rebound, you need to see consolidation forms, support forms in this blue box. But that rebound will only come all the way only until 245 as a confirmed rebound. If that pattern starts to form double bottom consolidations, higher pivots. And then definitely some more upside would be on Tesla on intraday if we get above 245 and 75 cents and also out of this lower moving trend line, then that would be your play back again to the upside. 245 and 66 cents is the intraday pivotal level for a change back again to the intraday full on bullish. Otherwise, there will maybe a rebound, but since the intraday structure is to the downside, you have to be a little bit careful on trading this as a bullish play because structure is in credit to the downside so you might get caught up in a little bit of a rebound and then you know some sell-off may come but that's why i'm saying wait for the overall structure is in bullishness right but we have to see the confirmation that when that also coincides and intraday also we become full-on bullish that will be if we can get above the pivotal structure of 208 and 45 and 66 cents together with that trend line but again you can if you are a really good scalper or trader with you are good with it you know getting the rebounds you can trade that rebound but you need to see a support form here double bottom form here things along those lines and the bottom line for that level would be like if we lose 233 and 50 cents with 20 days moving average then there is no point in staying long on this thing at least for the trades all right then we'll see where what are the next levels that it finds supports at and then i do expect that eventually but even if we fall lower we will still see some pullbacks but 
the trend would change right so accordingly either you can then just trade the trend to the downside or you can trade the rebound so that would be the decision making process accordingly okay um, but yeah so that's that so yeah, is so yeah, Tesla is right now in the distribution phase and below this blue box would be the confirmed mark of the distribution phase and then we'll be, you know, at least heading lower and then we'll see where that pullback comes or what Tesla does then, right? But so far, yeah, those are the levels to watch on Tesla and then we have earnings next week that will define quite a lot on Tesla. Looking, taking a look at weekly interval, uh, we closed above 200 weeks moving average, that is still fine. Uh, right over here and guys again now it all comes down to earnings right um i yeah i'll talk about maybe more over the weekend as well uh but it all comes down to now earnings all right that will be the biggest factor either tesla it will gap up here's the thing if earnings gaps tesla above 271 then guys 350 is a what a possibility and if we gap below 20 days moving average then we are definitely looking down again at this level of $200, all right? So, uh, yeah, it's it all comes down to now Tesla's earnings, all right? So that's that. All right, so let's also take a look at the short volume data that has been coming on Tesla, how things are looking like there. And, yeah, so Tesla was getting some high short volume lately up here, right? Like 46 Anything above 35 on Tesla, I consider high. 46, 41, 45, 40, 44, 41. So yeah, short sellers are definitely piling in quite a lot here again. And you can see the retest of the supply zone with this ongoing ongoing short selling, right? They are really pounding down. Today's data will come in the evening. If you have access to my tools, you can plug and play that. You will see then later. Um, yeah, and so that's the thing, right? Like when we were having high short volume here, but price action was confirming to that upside, that resulted into the squeeze because all the short sellers kept covering but then once we piled up here and short sellers were piling up here and price didn't go higher that means short sellers uh, finally didn't need to cover their position and then you can see that is acting up and then also adding short, more short sellers are coming in adding to that existing supply zone and trying to push it lower right so but earnings would be the catalyst let's see what happens then and yeah but that's that for this video, guys. All right. So if you found it helpful, valuable, please hit the like, subscribe. And guys, I'll see you in my next videos. Take care. Bye.